I think we're at a real critical moment for social media, not just in this country, but around the world. We've all been really excited about it, the potential that this technology uh, gives us to connect in new ways and to connect products, frankly, to, to people. Uh, how many of you have more than um, 100 friends on Facebook? There is a sense that some things are happening too fast, companies are you know, once again, writing business plans on a napkin and then getting funding. For a lot of kind of brand managers, a lot of companies started to get involved in the space. So they've read all the articles. They know they should be on Twitter, they should be on Facebook, they should be engaging with their consumers. Um, and they started to do it and they can't measure it and they're not seeing results. So everyone's beginning to feel like it's a bit of an internet bubble. It's tool, people. It's a communications tool. Social media has experienced quite a lot of hype and excitement from both public as well as clients, corporate clients. So it does make sense to kind of look back and what works and what doesn't. Brands need to listen and be prepared to put a lot of time and resource into adding value and really contributing to existing communities and helping them grow um, the existing passion that is within those communities. Microsoft, when in terms of allowing all of their folks to blog and we was able to actually humanize their voice uh, and actually created uh, you know, a great community of people that were all about, believe it or not, loving the Microsoft brand and some of the There is a big change for the corporates because in reality the corporates actually are wielding a lot more power than they've ever been able to perform. They are able to get their message out because they can be their own message and deliver. They don't have to wait for a journalist to write it. But when it comes to emotional engagement with the brand, what people think? Social media can be a change agent, you know, it's not just about how brands can broadcast at their consumers on a new platform, it's about how can they really integrate a listening approach into their whole company, so finding out what consumers really want. <laughs> There's a certain leap of faith here where the corporate world is prepared to take this on trust for a while and then see how the volume and the feedback and the momentum actually builds. When you're working in financial PR, you deal with analysts, um, financial journalists, as well as kind of institutional investors and people like that. And I don't think they're going to take their tips from a social network site at the end of the day. They need face-to-face -face interaction. And, um, you know, we arrange for them to speak to the chief executives of the company. So they're always going to speak to the chief exec before they kind of listen to what we're blogging about the company, I think, essentially. People want to see results in figures, right? And if you, if you turn around to your boss and you say, oh, well, I've, we've got 20 fans on Facebook, they're not going to be massively impressed by that. If you turn around and say, we've got 10,000 fans on Facebook, they're going to be very impressed by that. But it's kind of then figuring out a way of explaining to them the difference between, um, you know, quantity over quality, I guess. I sometimes wonder if we look back on this in five years' time, will it be quite, have it quite the impact that we think it's having now? That's not to underestimate it. It's an important development, and it certainly is going to change the way that uh, media works, it's going to change the way that commerce works, and it's going to change the, work that, the way that brands work. But I think it's important in all of this not to get too swept along uh, by the hype. I think what we're seeing is that people are acting differently online and that's a real challenge for brands, for corporates, for journalists, for everybody interested in the media. And do you know what? The bottom line is we still don't understand. We've still got so much to find out about why people do what they do online. We know they enjoy it. We want to be part of it. Let's go find out.